Hi out there in Radio Land. Hello. Who do we have here? This is Doc Buckley from uh, W3MEV. Uh, with the club from WA0 SDO. And I'll be demonstrating or pointing out some of the intricacies of our new trailer that we just got donated to club. And I'm Jeff, WB0 LRX. I can't take any credit for this trailer other than I support it and it's a fantastic addition to our club. What we have is a small trailer which is 8 by 14 foot and it is totally self-contained. It's self-sufficient. We receive power from a 110 generator, which we have to keep over here in the corner, and we'll put it outside. It will come into, a, we have a small block, which will regulate it, which we keep underneath here, and it hooks up to 12 volts, which we get from four six volt batteries. It also hooks up to 110, or 12 volts via a 110 regulator, a power supply down here, and solar power, a 25 volt, Solar, solar panel. So all three of those electricity sources go into this one regulator. If it's not being used out on the net, it's being stored in the batteries, all the power there. The power itself comes from down here where the batteries are in the regulator. You can see them down there. It comes up to a checkpoint to where we can tell how many amps it's drawing, how many watts we've got, how many volts we've got, whatever. And it comes back out to go down to a power strip. We have two power strips on this thing that eventually supports lights, radios, and uh, other Sunday 12 volt items within the system. And the power supply block is located down here. What a mess of wires, huh? You also notice while we're in this cabinet down here, we've got a plate on the bottom with coax connectors that go through the wall of the, the floor of the trailer and we can connect up to up to six different antennas. Those antennas will be either brought up to a switch up here or directly to a radio. Oh yeah. This uh, we can take about five, six antennas and put them through a switch to one radio if we're gonna use multiple antennas or not. <clears throat> we also have one ten coming into it over there and we supply a fluorescent light the power for the, the power for the power supply and various sundry outlets throughout the, the thing we can have coffee and whatever above you you see the air conditioner this small section right up here with closing the doors and we'll pull this thing down to make it comfortable to work I can testify that's working well <laughs> yes and uh, of course, during the winter, we don't have heat. We have just to bring in a portable heat exchange type thing. So in here, we have four separate radio setups or four separate stations. Typically, during operation, we're going to operate with two operators and one scribe runner. Okay, the scribe runner will have access to the dry erase boards at both ends of the trailer and take information. And the, we have an HF station over here. Here we have a VHF station, which contains not only our repeater, but all the local repeaters and some of the local government frequencies. Over here we have six meters available to us. We have our own six meter repeater within the club too. And over here, we have donated from a ham, well actually on loan from a ham up in Maryland, a good friend of mine, W3ADP. It's a uh, FT100D, which is capable of not only HF, but it's all mode, has VHF, and uh, UHF on it. It can operate through a computer, which we have the main body of the computer down here, with the keyboards and stuff that come out up into a monitor up there, so we can be available to do Winlink, FSQ, PK31. Uh, we have a ventilated system set in here. Uh, like I said, all the equipment and everything else is there, donated or loaned by club members. We have a local Radio shop which has done an awful lot of work. We've got four antennas permanently mounted on top of the trailer. In the back, the second half of the trailer, we have a workroom, which can also be converted very readily into another dispatch center or something like that. If we have, let's say, local law enforcement or uh, EMA or somebody else wants to come in and set up in there, we've got that. We also have the capabilities of a pop-up tent outside with a table and four chairs you know, for make outside operations, so because we can't want a crowd inside here. 
this is all courtesy of everybody in the club coming by and doing their best to help provide support for amateur radio operations and also local uh, needs that they have. It's capable of going to other counties within the state too. We've talked to those people about it too. Cool. Thank you so much.